President Biden said Thursday that inflation in the U.S. is lower than other countries around the world. I can understand why the American people are frustrated, but inflation is higher in almost every other country. Prices in the pump are higher in almost every other country. Well, in point of fact, here is the reality that Biden's just trying to sweep under the rug. Inflation, as you can see in the U.S., is higher than all the major European economies, despite what the president said. Inflation is higher in almost every other country. 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 Well, first of all, he should uh, take responsibility. He's in charge. He talks about being the commander in chief. Let's be absolutely clear about why prices are high now. They're high for two reasons. One was COVID. Take responsibility. He's in charge. And now, second big reason for inflation is Vladimir Putin. And then Putin invaded. Make no mistake, the current spike in gas prices is largely the fault of Vladimir Putin. It has nothing to do with the American rescue plan. Take responsibility. He's in charge. Biden tweeting, quote, bring down the price you are charging at the pump to reflect the cost you're paying for the product and do it now. Take responsibility. He's in charge. Well, Jeff Bezos responding with this, quote, inflation is far too important a problem for the White House to keep making statements like this. It's either straight ahead misdirection or a deep misunderstanding of basic market dynamics. The United States Oil and Gas Association jumping into all of this, tweeting, quote, make sure the White House intern who posted this tweet registers for Econ 101 come this fall. <laughs> Okay. The reason why gas prices are up is because of Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. Take responsibility. He's in charge. The reason why the food crisis exists is because of Russia. Take responsibility. He's in charge. And let's remember how we got here. Putin invaded Ukraine. Take responsibility. He's in charge. Putin invaded Ukraine with 100,000 forces. Just look at the facts. Since the start of the war in Ukraine this year, gas prices have risen by almost $2 a gallon in the United States and sometimes more around the world. But it wasn't just Putin's invasion of Ukraine. It was refusal of the United States and the rest of the free world to let Putin get away with something we haven't seen since World War II. I said at the time, siding with Ukraine during the most serious aggression in Europe since World War II, defending freedom, defending democracy, was not going to go without cost for the American people and the rest of the free world. We were going to have to pay a price as well in the cost of military equipment, economic assistance, humanitarian relief, and sanctioned Russian banking industries. How long is it fair to expect American drivers and drivers around the world to pay that premium for this war? As long as it takes. So Russia cannot, in fact, defeat Ukraine and move beyond Ukraine. As long as it takes. 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 Oh, here, just in case you needed some proof. Final price of gas under Obama. $2.36. Current price for gas under Trump, $2.92. Mr. President, you can't blame this on President Obama as you try to blame everything on him. It's time for you to act. Things And you're paying, what, $2 a gallon for your gasoline? That's okay. You know what that's like? That's like a tax cut. That's bigger than a tax cut. If Biden got in, you'd be paying $7, $8, $9. Didn't they say, get rid of your car? Take responsibility. He's in charge. 